was twinkling my twinklers, it's your girl Twinkle So's Liz back with another vlog. And today we're gonna get the mail. And also guys, just to let you know, I ordered a thing on Amazon, which is um, probably something you guys seen before. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's a dino mask. And usually people who are fursuiters wear it. And I thought it'd be nice, oh, there was a bee near me. So, um, but yeah, so I bought a dino mask. And uh, yeah, so it should arrive in like a couple days. So hopefully I get that in the, in the box and it comes early because most of the times when I first started with Amazon, like I, when I signed up for Amazon, I didn't know they start you off with Prime for the first month for free. So that was nice. But the Prime is over and now it takes a little bit longer to uh, arrive, but it'll be here on August 10th, I think. I don't know exactly, sometimes they're late. So yeah, we'll have to see. I'm pretty sure it's August 10th. I'll have to look back. But yeah, we're out to get the mail. And yes, I'm wearing a sweater when it's 35 degrees today, guys. But the thing is, there's a reason why I have to wear a sweater. It's because I couldn't find sunscreen and the medicine that I'm taking actually makes me sensitive to sunlight. So I have to protect my skin from sensitive sunlight. I hate it walking up my hill. Uh, makes me exhausted. But yeah, um, so I want to do a Q&A if you guys want to, I also want to do a Q&A because if you guys want to ask me questions and I answer your questions on a video, whenever that video is going to be up or whenever you guys have questions on one of my videos, uh, I will write them down and I will answer your questions you have for me. Um, so yeah, uh, it's just... Today, it's really hot and I hope Amazon delivers it earlier than expected. Yeah, I'm rambling, I'm rambling about random things that come up on the top of my head. Also, what do you guys think of the last video? If you just recently watched it about me doing the stalls and uh, me thinking of putting cement in the pony's stall if dirt's better or or cement's better. I don't know. I'm new to the whole stall situation with horses, so I'm always thinking cement would be easier for me to clean their stalls so I don't have to dig in the dirt. That'd be nice. And yeah. And it's been a while also. I haven't got, I haven't done a vlog about me getting the mail like I used to do, guys. I'm trying my best to do daily vlogs but it's just hard to think about what I'm gonna do for these vlogs. So you guys leave a comment what next you want me to do for a vlog or talk about. Or if you want to see a tour of the whole place and the animals and all that stuff, you let me know in the comments to see if, you know, if uh, you want that. Because I feel like sometimes that every time I, do a vlog like this, my brain's thinking, oh, I'm pretty boring. No one wants to see me show things that they've seen before, you know, like the animals and the rest of the farm, that you guys get bored of that. But let me know in the comments if you never get bored of it and you want to see more, you're really um, curious about the farm and all the animals. I haven't showed you guys the, the a new animal we have on the farm, which is a pig. And uh, we're not keeping this pig. We're not. Uh, it's just here for a little while and then it's gone. Uh, we're holding it uh, for like someone else. So um, we just temporarily have it in our farm. And uh, then somebody's gonna come pick it up in, before the winter um, for their farm. And because we can't because the pig we had was just like they gave it to us to have for since it was a baby so they would have room for their farm because they haven't built a farm for it yet so now, now the pig's like all grown up and now it's ready to uh, their barn is almost ready so then they'll come pick it up and um, bring it there they just didn't have room so we had a temporary extra like uh, paddock for the pig but 
I don't think the paddock when the pig's gone, it's uh, gonna be like regrown grass on it because the pig kind of rode it out everything. And yeah, so we're almost at the mailbox. And yeah, so uh, I'll actually see you guys when I'm done getting the mail so the video's not so long. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, apparently, there's no mail. So usually there is some mail, but today is no mail day. Today. No mail day today. So, um, yeah. So I just wanted to do this quick vlog for you guys to do saying I want to do a Q&A. So if you have any questions you want to ask me, let me know in the comments and I'll write them all down. And uh, we'll do all that on the next video. And the Amazon thing, when it does show up, I'll do a vlog about that. So you guys can see me, what I look like with a dino mask. Um, I did actually bought a dino mask before, but apparently it was a, the wrong one. It's a latex rubber dino mask, which on the Amazon thing, you know how sometimes when they post things on Amazon, it's not the right thing? Like this dino mask that I had before, um, it said it had the chin straps and the straps and it had a movable jaw. But then when I received it, it was just a rubber mask. That's it. Nothing. No straps, no chin straps, no movable jaw. I'll show you guys when I get back to my house and how horrible it is. So that kind of taught me a lesson. Before purchasing something on Amazon, make sure it's the thing that you want and not like something that is the wrong thing. Because you basically, I didn't, I didn't read the description correctly because sometimes I have a hard time understanding. I think when I look at the picture, it's the, it looks exactly like that. When I look at the picture, I'm like, oh, it's gonna have that when I receive it. So when I got it, it wasn't looking like that. And then I look back at the, the description of it and it said latex, latex rubber. So I'm like, okay, now I learned my lesson. Next time, look carefully at the description because sometimes not all things seem the same as what they appear or what does that saying go? I don't know what it's called, but you know what I mean. So, yeah. That is gonna be that. So hopefully the one I'm receiving this time, I look at the description, I looked at how many stars, this one has all five stars on it, and I've heard the, the, uh, the people's um, review on it and they said it's a real one. It's a moving jaw exactly. So I'm like, okay I'm gonna get this one and it better be the right one and they're not lying to me I really want to become The thing is What I always dreamed of since I was little guys is I always wanted to be a fursuiter Yeah, a fursuiter those people in those animal costumes. I've always dreamed of it, but Everyone tells me it's too expensive yeah, it costs us a lot of money. They actually sell fursuits in, uh, in, in Amazon. Like, the fox fursuit, like a full body fursuit from head to tail, like a full body kind of fursuit. And you know how much it was? It was $898 just for that. And I'm like, wow, fursuits are expensive, especially on Amazon when they're selling them. It's like $800 for that for a fursuit. I found one a little bit cheaper, but it's still expensive. It was like a cute anime cat or something, but that was like $638. Still expensive. So, and of course with Amazon, when you want that thing, obviously I'm a small person and that costume is already made to fit someone. So that person that used to be in that fursuit um, probably doesn't want to be a fursuiter anymore and decide to sell it on Amazon. So it probably fits them. So if I were to get it, um, it wouldn't fit me because I'm small and that's set for a medium. So the head will be bobbling everywhere 
the fur body would be like the body would be so loose on me the paws would be everywhere like it, the, the costume would probably be way too big for me so I don't know let me know guys in the comments should I get that fursuit should I save money to get that fursuit and try it out or should I just uh, don't waste my money and get something better like I saw partial fursuit parts like partial ones like they're selling paws I found these like cute tiger paws but they were $50 $50 just for a set of paws and then I'm like okay how much are the tails I found this white tail like this white fursuit tail and it had a little bit of rainbow on it and you know how much that was it was hundred and fifty seven dollars Wow the people who go to fursuit conventions and do those um, fursuiting cons and teaching you fursuiting 101 they're not joking fursuit are expensive if you want to be a fursuiter it's gonna cost you more than thousand dollars or a couple hundred at least but I'm I'm determined guys I want to become a fursuiter like I just don't know where to start and how to start because I really like entertaining people I really want to hang out with furries I wish I had friends who are like fursuiters then they could teach me a little bit of fursuiting 101 what are things and what are like the things I mean I got a fursuit tail which is like a cat tail I'll show you so yeah I'm, I'm at my house right now gotta do a few stuff so I'll be right back guys okay guys I'm in my room now I just took off my sweater because that was boiling hot but you know it's because my medicine makes me uh, sensitive to the Sun so what else can I do but anyways I want to show you guys the thing what I was talking about the cattail furry um, this is like a fursuit almost but this is what I'm talking about this is my uh, cattail but apparently it, it came with a, a belt like most furry tails do um, and um, the belt if I can get this yeah the belt actually broke off of here so I'm thinking I need to find something that can attach onto another belt for the tail in order for me to have this cattail I have a black one that comes with like clips um, but yeah so anyways I'm gonna end this off here I hope you guys enjoyed it as uh, much as I did and as always if you have questions and you want me to answer your questions in the next video leave them down in the comments and as usual guys don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell notification make sure you are notified and that's gonna be at the beginning of the video but anyways, I'm going to end off here. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And as usual, I will tune for you guys in the next video. Bye! Tell me like a hell cut.